Studios. Uh, we're just going to start off this video with a quick walk cycle that, you know, tried to make look kind of dope for y'all, you know what I mean? Um, absolutely inspired by Back to the Future and Marty McFly. I call this character Quacks to Fly. And um, the animation was fun, but we're going to get into the drawing in a couple seconds. Check it out. Started off with an old drawing of mine. Uh, definitely had to flip the uh, canvas orientation because he's a little bit taller than I thought he was going to end up being. Um, definitely, definitely, definitely had to add in the um, the Back to the Future Nikes. You know what I mean? Um, always thought those shoes were dope. I mean, the self-lacing, come on. It's awesome. <laughs> All right. Um, Head on to the line work right here. Um, I always start off with the eyes. I don't know what that is. Um, I, it might just be a comfort zone for me, but I always start off with the eyes and then I move on to the head and the mouth. Uh, here, I jumped into the hat. Neck, you know. Again, this is a... Uh, character I dreamt up called I, I, I've named him Quacks to Fly instead of Marty McFly um, been thinking about the next character based off Doc Brown don't know yet not sure yet but uh, this character felt organic so I just felt like um, animating him and drawing him out and breathing a little bit of life into him well at that point I uh, resized him I wanted his head to be a bit a little bit bigger, so it'll match the um, the animation. And uh, jumped into the hands here. Hands are always challenging. You either get them them right or you get them wrong. And it's like, for me, I'm at a point in my I guess professional career where I've got a system down for hands, and for me, it's just break it down to like the core shapes you know what i mean so for like the the palm it's a big square and then some some angles it might look more like like a uh, cube of some sorts and then um basically take the fingers into a, like a rough look and then i add segments to them and then get it to this point again where <clears throat> i go over them with the uh, with the line word line work and um, bring the uh, the visuals out a little bit more. Um, I had to give him a Letterman's jacket. I just thought that was badass. Uh, and I put a collar on the Letterman's jacket too. Uh, I mean, come on, man. Letterman's jackets are just cool. <laughs> I love comics too, so... I added in this uh, exclamation point with the thought bubble, or or excuse me, in this in this case, speaking bubble. Ah, uh, is a logo I made a while back, and I just I love it. I think it's awesome. It's uh, reminiscent of a GUI, which stands for um, graphic user interface. You see it in all the video games. It usually displays the uh life uh energy in your character so um in my characters it'll i guess it'll represent the conscious energy in my characters and there's the uh, clip of the animation again i had to I had to rip it from the um collie peg program and and use it for colors because i was like I, I don't necessarily remember the colors i was using so i had to take it from there and uh, use it as a quick little uh, reference. And then I ended up in the end here, kind of just decided to leave it there. I thought it looked cool. Yeah, blue beanie slash ski mask. That's why you got the holes at the top. 
Oh, yeah, you'll notice he has a joint in his mouth. Uh, hasn't sparked it yet, but he definitely, in my opinion, is saving it for later. <clears throat> so we got the flat colors done now. Start throwing some shading in there. Or at least some darker colors that will match the shading as I go along. Ah, forgot his chain. That's important. The chain on Quacks 2 Fly is very, very important. So I had to go back and draw that in. And here, you, here I'm uh, starting to block in the shadows, the shading. Um, to give this character some depth. Oh yeah, folks, don't forget to subscribe. I'm going to be doing this all the time. You like animation, you like drawing. I suggest you come back multiple times because I'm going to be doing this, you hear me? <laughs> yep, continuing to block in the, the shading. This is my first pass of shading. Um, I would call this process like really just like uh, getting just the beginning stages of the depth of the character, that's all. Um, the second shading will really make it pop but this is to really distinguish the layers of you know this character so the inside of his coat there is going to be darker than the outside of his hand you know what i mean or his, or his sneakers or um the shading around his eyelids is going to be you know deeper in some places so in some parts it look like his eye is sunken in other parts it won't um Yep, shading the sneakers now. I cannot remember the name of those sneakers off the top of my head right now, and that's killing me. <laughs> and I'm the one who had to type it up and look for it, and all of a sudden I'm drawing a blank. So if you remember, do me a favor, put it in the comments. Help me out. <laughs> all right, so this is the second layer of shadows. Um, For me, in my opinion, this is the my favorite part of um, designing and drawing stuff up with uh, Procreate because this, this is the part that's like gonna really make the the character pop in my opinion. So again, I'm blocking it out. I'm getting the shapes down so we can we can get a feel for what you know, I want to show and what I don't want to show and what I want to feel like it's receding to the background and vice versa. Uh, oh, at that point, you can see I'm kind of adding in some some uh, lights to the sneakers. Again, if you remember the name of the sneakers, don't hesitate to tell me because I've completely forgotten. Brain fought. Continue to block it out. At this point, you can really see that the level of uh, detail and depth that I was trying to trying to explain. And right here, going with the Gaussian blur. Oh, oh, wait, not yet. Added a couple more blocking, but I'm almost ready for the Gaussian blur, so it can really like fade it just a little bit. But you know make it look strong, but not too harsh. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Satisfied with it. Um, didn't wanna leave a white background. Uh, Try to do my best not to leave white backgrounds. It's kind of, it's kind of, uh, Not lazy, but I guess just missing something, you know what I mean? So, yeah, adding in the background and and then the shading underneath his feet. What the hell is that? Oh, well, that's not cool. Hope I erase that. Yes! <laughs> I erased it. Uh, that would have sucked. Either way, man, uh... 
thanks for watching again there's gonna be more videos like this so come on back subscribe like comment engage with me let me hear from you peace out